In this video, we will quickly over have an overview on the flow orchestrator. What exactly is the flow flow orchestrator, where it sits on, all the automation tool that Salesforce provides for the low code and uh, no code platform. So first of all, the or flow orchestrator always starts or gets executed from either record gets created or updated. So that's a triggered flow is a starting point here. There are only two type of the component in the flow orchestrator. Those are the stages and steps. Now, as you can see in this diagram, this whole section is stage and this stage right now has two steps. Now, step sequence can be controlled. So let's say in this stage, uh, you can have control saying that first this step has to execute and then this or both step can be executed at the same time. Uh, in a nutshell, orchestrator all it does is as the name suggests it orchestrates the control to the another subflow so flow orchestrator itself does not have any other capability other than just taking a decision or calling another flow as a part of each step now subflow can be either a screen flow which is interactive flow or auto launch flow and each interactive step or interactive screen flow can have a user assigned who is going to take an action or the group or the queue and the owner of the flow orchestrator of that interactive step if they have to take any action they will get an email saying that something is waiting for them and a uh, flow component basically can be added on a page layout or user can see what work pending for them on the tab name orchestration work item now before we go on the demo, uh, considerations and the limitations. Flow orchestration first of all is not a new tool. Okay, It's just a one extension of the flow where you can control the execution of flow. And uh, outgoing email content cannot be controlled at the time. So I'm recording this video around November 2022. Uh, it's around winter 2023 and we don't have any capability to change the email template of the flow. So let's go quickly on the demo. What I have done is I have created a orchestrator on the account record. So whenever the account record uh, basically gets created, I have a screen flow and all the screen flow it has a very extremely simple content, just two screen. Screen one says, hey, this is the screen one. It can do something and this is screen two and it can do something. Now the purpose of very simple screen here is just to make a proof or make a point basically saying that if this screen can invoke, this screen can have any business logic in your org that you can have. So just like this, I have a selling checklist one screen, I have a setup SSO another interactive screen and then I have warranty another screen. All have exactly same two screen and some text. Also, I have a auto launch flow. And auto launch flow is very simple flow. If you see, all it does is there is an is active field, custom field in my account object. It just makes that is active as a yes. That's all. Uh, also, as you can see, you can really can't do much, right? All you can do is either add a decision box or you can have uh, another flow. And each flow, as you can see, you can have a user, either user, either group or queue. One thing to note is all the subflow they gets connected by a, by a parameter of that record that started this flow. So for an example, this flow started from account. So all these subflows in auto launch flow can have any property of that account. So for an example, in auto launch flow, I'm just passing the record ID or account ID. Right? So, so basically only one ID you have to pass and you have any other logic, right? You have to write that logic on top of it. So quick demo. If I if I go here, uh, I let me quickly go. So I'm going to go on account record. I am going to create a new account. Let's say demo six is my account name. And I have a basically in my flow, I have a two path. If account decision, if account revenue is more than 10,000, then it follows this to another flow. So I'm going to use it. So my account revenue, I'm going to say, for an example, it's a 20K and then let's save it so once i save uh, as you can see this is the flow orchestrator component and this component shows what is the name of the orchestrator account upsell the stage is upsell and the step is selling checklist and this is a screen now i am able to see this screen because i am the 
assigning here. So if I go on this screen and as you see who it is assigned to, that's me. So if I, and this is again the proof of concept, anything can be done possible because at the end it is a subflow. And if I click on the finish, the next flow that is supposed to be executed is auto launch flow, which should make active field as a yes. If I refresh the page, and if I go on the detail again, as you can see, active is yes. So that's a proof that, okay, this got executed. It took a decision and in the decision revenue, revenue is more than 10,000. So it came here, it is showing the screen as a setup SSO. So if you see here, this is a setup SSO screen. If I finish it, the next screen, the stage should be set up warranty stage and the step is again that one. So as you can see here, uh, got it. So this is again orchestrator stage and step. Now you have to add this component and it's a very easy. Go to the flexi page or the lightning page. And on the lightning page, you can drag and drop the component from here. And the name of the component is a flow orchestration. Now this is a one way for a logged in user to see what are the pending action uh, item waiting for them. Other way is go on the tab named orchestration work item and that will show okay how many work items are there, which step they are, who is assigning etc. You might be wondering why the context record is blank for one and two and the reason for that is I deleted that record. So even though I delete the record, a work item is still available there. So I hope uh, this quick video on the flow orchestration would help you to make a decision in the future uh, on the great platform, the Salesforce, which is no code, low code uh, platform, and it would definitely help any admin developer and the architect. Uh, please feel free to subscribe the channel, leave your comment, feedback, and see you all next time. Thank you.